Today I'm here in Dubai at the Autodrome and we're comparing McLaren Senna against the McLaren 720S and we're starting with the drag race and then the hot laps so let's get in the cars right now and go for it. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here in Dubai at the moment on family holiday, staying in the Kupinski Hotel. And uh, two of my friends have two amazing McLarens here in Dubai. So we're now heading off to the Dubai racetrack. Gonna have a bit of fun and put those McLarens head to head. So I rented a V-Class here in uh, Dubai because when you have two kids, it's functionality over performance and looks. Good morning, welcome to the Dubai Autodrome. Uh, I already saw the back of the Senna in the garage there. So I'm uh, gonna go check it out now and then go have some fun. Okay, you've all seen the Senna already on my YouTube. Everything under control! Let's have another look at this. Gone for the legendary color combination here with the golf uh, golf sponsorship. I mean, this thing it's gonna be fun today because last time I drove it with you guys, it was on a driving school in the south of France. Whoa! But today, to be on a proper racetrack like kind of F1 track uh, with the high speed corners and everything, it's gonna be epic because the most special thing about the Senna is it has 800 kilograms of downforce at higher speeds. I think it's the road car with the most downforce in the world, and then we'll try the 720s as well. Which, uh, which is looking like a beast here in this black huh? and I love, the, I love the design of it particularly the front hole, the whole light part and everything looks pretty epic so we're going to try that, a lot less downforce than the, than the Senna of course nice brown interior and this one, uh, this one is 720 horsepower so a little bit less than the Senna so let's do this and we start with the drag race between the two and then we'll go for the hot laps Can I be your superhero? But must have made a lot of progress on the on the. <laughs> <laughs> they must have made a lot of progress on the traction control, I think. So Masaud rightly said that these are uh, these are race tires here, so they need more temperature than um, than the standard tires at the other end. So uh, so we're gonna do a quick uh, a quick donut here. Second time then was good because we got a bit of temperature in the tires and that was then enough to give them the right kind of grip and then poof, then we were off and, uh, and beat the 720s. And now we're going to go on for the hot laps. Breaking there, that's the epic rip in the braking where the whole you can feel the whole down. 
awesome, really, really awesome. It's a great track, you know? it's a really, really fun track. Ah, because it has everything and it's very, it's not too big either, because normally like F1 tracks are just too big for road cars, but it's not too big either. There's everything there, you know, top speed, there's high speed corners, slow speed, really cool sections over the curves and everything. So really, really good and uh, amazing grip this thing has. I mean, uh, it's ridiculous. It's really, really ridiculous, the downforce. So it was really nice to feel that downforce on the racetrack, for, on the proper big racetrack for the first time. Absolutely epic, great power, great everything, drivability. So uh, that was a great start, it was a good lap, so a good reference, and now we're gonna jump into the 720S. Masoud, you, you killed your front tires. <laughs> How come? There, there's nothing left. Really? <laughs> We've got a, almost empty tank, 35 kilometers, in normal driving. That means probably one lap in Nico driving. <laughs> so, uh, well, two, <laughs> but it should be enough. <laughs> I mean, when you come from a Senna with those Pirelli semi-slicks, it's always going to be a step backwards. Uh, but still, it really feels great. Where I'm very, very impressed is on the braking performance. The braking performance, because you know, you have this, uh, this um, uh, movable aerodynamics, and you see the whole rear wing popping up when you brake. And wow, the braking is really, really impressive. I mean, that's not far off the Senna. A lot of downforce there, but then as soon as you get into the cornering, you can just feel a lot of lack of grip there. So that's where that's where uh, the difference is. Uh, but still, even there, you know, it's still a great feeling because it handles very, very well. A uh, little bit of understeer, but still very neutral, very racy. So I really, really enjoyed it and uh, has a great feel to it. So uh, also a great car, but of course quite a bit slower than across the lap. And uh, we made it back to the pits before running out of fuel. So that went uh, that went okay. dynamically adjustable aerodynamics so when you brake the rear wing for example pops up extreme like massively and it's so close to the center so that was really really impressive that was amazing and of course a little bit less grip everywhere here and there but also great car and we look forward to seeing how, how the lap time difference is the end of the day here I hope you really enjoyed it uh, thanks for tuning in again I'm gonna head off back to see my family now spending some time with them on the beach and uh, yeah, it was a great great fun here thanks to Masaud as well thanks to the Dubai Autodrome and please remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel so you don't miss out on this video which is coming next and believe me it's gonna be real fun to watch so uh, subscribe so you don't miss out on it and uh, bye bye see you for the next one